Hey guys, Christian here from Core Electronics. Today we're going to be undertaking Circuit 1C from Project Set 1 using the Spark Fun Inventors Kit version 4.0. Uh, in our previous video and circuit, we introduced our first analog component, the potentiometer. And in this circuit, we're going to be introducing another component known as a photoresistor. Now, a photoresistor is an analog component that has two pins similar to a normal resistor. And the special part about this component is that its resistance changes in accordance with the amount of light present. So if there's more light present, it has a lower resistance than if it's dark and there's less light present. So we're going to be using it in uh, a series connection with a um, 10K resistor and we're going to be measuring the voltage divide from that to give an adequate reading of the amount of light intensity in the room. So what we're essentially making in this circuit is a night light. If the um, light sensitivity or the, the light intensity in the room is below a certain threshold, the LED will turn on. And if it's above a certain threshold, the LED will stay off. So to connect the photoresistor up so that we can actually read the light intensity in the room, we are going to connect A21 to D22 with the photoresistor. We're gonna use the 10K ohm, which is the brown, black, orange resistor. And we're gonna connect uh, A22 to D25. Then we're going to connect the red lead, the power, to E21 to the positive power rail. We're going to connect the blue um, wire to A0 and to where the uh, crossover happens, which is at E22. Then we're going to connect the ground to E25 to the negative power rail. And we're simply going to assemble the LED the same way that we have in the previous two videos with the positive leg going from 2A and the negative leg connecting to uh, 1A. Then E2 to F2 with the 330 resistor. Um, the negative connection going from E1 to the negative power rail, the positive connection going from J2 to pin 13, pin 13. and the positive 5 volts going to the positive power rail and ground going to the negative power rail. Uh, now that that connection is established, we can actually write the code that will let us activate this nightlight. So we'll connect it up and open the Arduino IDE. So opening a new sketch, um, what we're going to do at the start is we're going to declare a global variable or a global constant. So we're going to hit um, hash define and we're going to call it threshold. So as this threshold we're going to use 750. So what this essentially is is it's a reading from 0 to 123 or 0 to 5 volts. So once it is below this threshold uh, we will be activating the light and once it is above this threshold, we will be making sure that the LED is off. So since we're defining it outside of our functions, this, uh, this uh, constant will be visible throughout any function we choose to use. If instead of defining it, we wanted to call it an int and we wanted to keep it there, we can do that too. We just need to um, close it. Uh, we're going to be using the define for this uh, circuit. 
So we're defining the threshold to be 750. We're going to set our pin mode of pin 13 to output. And we are going to, in the main loop, we're going to make another integer. And that integer is going to be the value at um, A0 or the value of the voltage divide. So we're going to say int, um, we'll say photoval. Int photoval is equal to analog read. Once again, it's similar to the previous uh, read in that we used for the potentiometer because they're both analog components and they're both at A0. So we're analog reading A0. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use our first if or conditional statement. So an if statement means if this, then that. So we're going to say if um, photoval is less than threshold. So we use the less than symbol to say less than. If we wanted less than or equals, we'd say less than or equals. If the photo value, the red in value is less than the threshold, then we want to digital write um, pin 13. Uh, let's write that properly. Digital write pin 13 and we want to write it high. So we're saying that if it's dark, we want it to be on. And if it's light, we want it to be off. So that's if it's dark, we want it to be on. Now we've got to write if it's light, we want it to be off else. So if this isn't true, then we're going to say um, digital write in 13 low. And then we will compile that and upload it. Uh, we're going to save it once again as circuit 1C. So it'll compile that and it'll overwrite our previous statement. It's done uploading and if we cover this, the light should turn on. So there we go. That is how we use a photoresistor in a voltage divide to activate a light or whatever we want to activate using Arduino. So I hope you enjoyed Circuit 1C. Uh, you can join us in the next video for Circuit 1D, which will bring together all of what we've learned in the previous three circuits, and we'll be using an RGB LED for the first time too. I'll see you there.